Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Christina Rogers History Saver. Uh, we are back out uh, metal detecting tonight. And, uh, um, this happened. <laughs> he got a haircut just to do a re, basically redoing a photo that him and his father did years ago. When I was much younger. <laughs> and it was baby face. <laughs> so he actually had to play the part and become baby face Dana. <laughs> so this is what you're going to see for a little while. But anyways, um, so tonight we are at a 1800s field, uh, well, house property. Um, and also we brought the pickaxe tonight. Hey, and uh, Dana broke my pouch, so I have to use this new weird pouch thing that he's owing me a new pouch because <laughs> I really like to wear my pouches. And this just se feels so weird already. And I just, but we'll try it, we'll just have it for tonight and for a little bit until he can get me a new one or jury rig the one uh, we have. <laughs> <laughs> he's hoping. <laughs> Till the first hole. Let's see some history. The 79 signal here. Time. <laughs> yep. That is a key, right? Sure, it's a key. I don't know. No, I'm like not sure. Some part of a latch kind of thing? Yeah. Huh. Got to hold the two. Two nails or something. <clears throat> Rivets or something. Mm. Maybe something clicks into that. Oh. Cool. Yeah. Probably 15, 20 feet from the, uh, well, maybe less than 20 feet from the cellar hole there. But uh, this is cool. It's brass. Brass or copper. Oops, jeez. <laughs> Sounds a little bit heavy. Yeah, it is heavy. Made a little thud in the ground. <laughs> Anyways, on to the next. That's cool. Whoops. He wasn't recording. <laughs> he got ahead of himself. But this is some good dirt. As a horse goes by. It's uh, not on the top. Still in the hole. I told Dana to dig deep. Do you need actual light to come back? No, oh. it's right here. Well, how well can you see it? Could see yeah. it. Just good. Oh my word. Is that really how it came out? Yeah. It was sitting right there. All I did was pop the All top. you did was pop the top. Well, I kind of... Did you move any dirt? I kind of did a little woo hoo and then all of a sudden I see green. That is a coin, baby. It's a coin, baby. Now, what kind of coin? I absolutely have no idea. But I have a feeling it might be my first, might be. My first half, uh, half penny U.S. It might be. It just might be. But I have no idea. Um, we will put this away. 
get home. Oh, well, we'll let this dry out some. Oh, my word. So, guys, I actually wanted to cut in very quick and tell you and kind of explain to you what we actually found here. So, what we actually have found is much earlier than what I expected. It actually is not a U.S. coin at all. But right here is actually, I will also put in a picture of what it looks like on the internet. Right here, there's a crown and three little things on it. And right here, it says Lewis. And it, there's writing all around on the edges. The back here has some writing all around the edges. <clears throat> and in the middle here, you can barely see it. S-O-U. So it's a two-soul S-O-U. If I'm saying that wrong, I am sorry. Uh, these actually were minted between 1780 and 1790. It is King Louis the 14th or the 16th. I forget which one. But I will put up a uh, image. Like I said, this is a two soul. This one in the image is a 1789 French Goulian or however you say it. I'm sorry if it's wrong. It's a copper coin. It's a King Louis the 14th of France. And like I said, it's dated between 1780 and 1790. Another old copper coin. Finally, you guys actually get to see a copper coin that I have found. So isn't that cool? So 1700s coin. We found uh, right by an supposable 1800s uh, foundation. But I think this coin kind of uh, dates it way, way earlier than what the homeowner thinks. So that's cool. Let's get back to the video. On to the next. Wow, that's a coin though, babe. Yeah, babe. Boom! <laughs> I, I don't want to do it, so I don't want to <laughs> drop it. But, it. wow, guys. This is an old coin, too. Has to be. And oh. this should tell us how old this might be. Yeah. For sure. All right, guys. Until we maybe can get this cleaned up a little bit. Or until the next hole. Let's say some more history. <laughs> Thank you. Well, actually, <clears throat> so newer. This is a newer horseshoe, I think. It has words on it. Yeah. Well, yeah. So it's an old. It's a newer one. And they have so this, this. What we were told, this is actually to help uh, with the tar. With the uh, wear for the horseshoe. That's weird how it broke here. Huh. Styles of horseshoes have changed, though. The owner here has uh, showed us one recently. Yeah, complete. that had this stuff on it, yeah. That f fell off. And had, there was like three or four places. Not just to protect the horseshoe from the tar and make it last longer. It says something O-O-L-I-T-E. Oh, light. Oh, light. Oh, light, where have you gone? <laughs> well, this is kind of cool. We didn't really have to dig it. Oh, well. On to the next. So that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We definitely did. Finding that coin and just 
having a great time spending with each other. Um, until next time, stay safe and save some history. Oh, by the way, next week's video, we find a lot of really neat and awesome relics. So stay tuned for that. So again, <laughs> until next time, stay safe and save some history. Bye, guys!